Hello and welcome to the Saturday Wrap for Saturday the 4th, yeah, the 4th of January 2020. Out with the old and in with the new, although not all together. Anyway, this is live from the Gatekeeper in central Cardiff, weather spoons, and it's not raining. It is light though, which is unusual for this time of year. Anyway. Um, so, bringing over things from 2019, my cold, my cold is still lingering. Um, it's mostly gone, but I still feel a bit tired and a bit congested, and you know what it's like. It'll probably be here for the next month or so, and I'll be coughing, but eh, what can you do? Apart from, obviously, complain about it. Anyway. Um, another thing that went over the New Year was the boiler. New Year's Eve, uh, early in the morning, there was this noise. <laughs> so I checked the boiler and it had an error code on it. And I looked up the error code and I couldn't tell what it was, but at the bottom it said you can reset it. So I did reset it. And that seemed to fix it. And then I came home in the night and the house was cold. So I checked the boiler and that seemed to be working okay but it had code 6 on it, which I think meant um, that the pump wasn't working. So there you go. Uh, oh, I'd have to take Thursday off because of British Gas to come along. So I went on this site and the first appointment was for 8 o'clock on New Year's Day. I wasn't altogether sure if that was correct, but it turned out to be the case. And the guy was there at 8.30 um, and all he asked for was a bowl for um, water. And it was the pump, and I told him well, he just needs to keep it going until the end of the month because there's a new one on the way. And he fixed it, and everything's fine. However, I'm really glad that I have booked a new one, despite the fact it's massively expensive. Um, but warmth is really nice, especially at this time of year. And oh, this is the third one that went over. Last Thursday, Boxing Day, was also Curry Thursday in Spoons. And they didn't sell many curries. So on Saturday of last week, in the Malcolm Uphill, there was a chicken jal frazy. And on Monday, in the tumble, I had a chicken tikka masala, which I managed to get down my shirt. Okay, I mostly got the stain out, but I tried putting some stout on it, because I think there's a thing with white wine will get rid of stains, but stout doesn't tend to work that much. However, there you go. And here's something from 2020. Trying out new things in the app world. Well, actually, it's from 2019. Um, I subscribe to a site called Screencast Online. It's a Mac and iOS site. And they have tutorials for programs, and they are excellent. It's not particularly cheap. Um, but if you have iOS apps, or if you have a Mac, or if you have both, I'd recommend it. So they were looking at a thing called Better Touch Tool. Actually, it was from a year or two ago. And one of the things it does is change the touch bar on the Mac. So I downloaded it. It uh, has a 45-day trial period. I'm not altogether sure if I have enough knowledge to edit the touch bar but there are a number of presets there uh, which are free um, and I think I possibly might register it I think it's only about seven dollars um, for the full version uh, and that will do up to the next update we shall see anyway anyway that's better touch tool um, Google is your friend for this one and finally uh, big Eric Thomas big as as he's known um, he retired um, he retired on the day that I went sick. So anyway, we'd already arranged an unofficial leaving do. So we started at 12 o'clock in the tumble yesterday, Friday the 3rd, and then caught the train down to the Otley, where it was quiet and relaxed, and we drank beer and arranged to have these meetings on a quarterly basis. The Otley Arms in Tree Forest. What a little corker it is. Anyway... Here's to 2020 and fine ales. Although this one doesn't seem to have cleared very well. You win some, you lose some. Anyway, bye bye.